Hi, and welcome to SkatersLandingTV.com. I'm your host, Chris Bartlett. Today, we are going to be talking about blade basics. Nothing too specific, but just sort of the ABCs, so you will know uh, some basic features and understand your own skate blade, your child's skate blade, or your student's skate blade. It's pretty simple. Here we go. Starting at the front, we have the toe pick. There are different types of toe picks. Toe picks have uh, cross-cut teeth, straight-cut teeth. Some blades have very small toe picks. Uh, we will have uh, a very in-depth coverage of toe picks in another episode. Right behind the toe pick area is a tiny little area where the skater actually cannot make contact with the ice. You can see the space in there. Okay, we sometimes in industry refer to that as the unskatable part of the blade. Now the area behind it that you see the blade teetering back and forth on, uh, that's the rocker. So when you think about rocker, you could think about your old granny's rocking chair or something like that. Our blade rocks. Uh, when I work with a skater, I get them to really uh, come to terms and understand the motion of that because our natural posture in the blade actually sets us further back on the blade. You can see here that the natural center of balance on the blade is much broader and much flatter. As this skater skates and goes through turns and spins, that rocker is going to be bringing us forward to the toe pick and then backwards towards the heel. We are always working the rocker of the blade and back towards the arch in the center as we skate. Okay. I'm going to move on now and actually talk about the blade itself. We actually, on the inside of the foot, we have one edge known as the inside edge. On the outside of the skate is the second edge called the outside edge. You can really see those edges and you can see that down the center between the edges is a chamber. That chamber is the blade hollow. Okay, we don't really skate too much on that part of the blade. We are skating out here on the inside and the outside edges. I'm gonna take this to paper so I can actually show you a little bit better some of the things we're talking about, all right? Here we go. We're gonna pretend that I'm a good artist for the sake of this video, okay? And I am making right now the world's fattest blade, okay? Okay. This area here is the area that we call the hollow, okay? This would be one edge, and this would be the second edge. When the skater skates, the edge, or the bite angle, actually grips the ice surface. So if the skater were skating flat across the ice in a two-foot or one-foot glide, both edges are making contact with the ice surface, and the skater is perpendicular over the top. Okay? When a sharpening is done to a blade, it's very, very important that the two edges are equal. We are looking for this point and this point to be equal to one another. What happens sometimes in sharpening is we have something like this occur where the technician has not taken enough care and the blade ends up looking something like that. In this case, this skater is going to make contact here, but is going to have to come out of balance to make contact with this part of the blade. So if this skater were skating uh, perpendicular to the ice, they would actually have a lean. Okay, that is not a desirable thing. That is not something we are looking for. Okay, we are going to move on and talk about blade profile, which is another aspect that any sharpener has to deal with. We have the bottom toe pick, and we have that little unskatable zone, then we have the rocker, and then where the blade goes towards what we call the tail or the heel, and that part of the blade is the flattest part. As you go towards the heel, blades flatten out, okay? Any sharpener who sharpens your blade is removing a layer. I think of it somewhat like getting a facial. You're getting a peel, just a tiny, tiny microscopic peel. You do not want more than that coming off in your sharpening or your blade will um, 
it's going to age too prematurely and it's also going to change that rocker that we looked at earlier okay some of the signs of a bad sharpening are when we start to see this rocker area in here begin to flatten out and almost begin to disappear okay that skater's rock that we looked at either earlier is really going to um the integrity of the blade is really going to come into question and that skater could really suffer um, with spinning and such as you can see the balance point is really altered proportionally to that bottom toe pick. Um, so maintenance of the profile is extremely, extremely uh, of, of great importance. Um, that's really um, all I want to tell you today for these blade basics. I think if you can handle the ABCs of that, stay tuned and next time we'll talk about the different structures of topics. Thanks for tuning in to skaterslandingtv.com. I'm Chris Bartlett.